He's one of the most successful songwriters in America. Daryl Scott has played and written hits for country music stars, including Garth Brooks, the Dixie Chicks, and Tim McGraw. The Laurel County native is excited to be back in the bluegrass for the Troubadour Concert Series tonight at the Kentucky Castle in Versailles. Well, first of all, I'm from Kentucky, and my family's been from Kentucky for 200 plus years. So that's part of the deal. Uh, certainly country music upbringing, uh, but also church upbringing. So those two musics showed up pretty early. Uh, grew up in a family band, you know, and uh, brothers played, dad played, mom sang. Uh, and so music was like our pastime. Uh, like what we do where some families go fishing or hunting or whatever, we played music. Uh, and then moved to Nashville about 30 years ago and then started, uh, you know, it was rough at first, but then started uh, into session playing and getting songwriting deals. And then people, maybe after eight years or so, started cutting my songs. Uh, people like Travis Tritt and the Dixie Chicks and Tim McGraw, uh, Faith Hill and Garth Brooks and all sorts of folks started, uh, Patty Loveless. Uh, people started cutting my songs. Uh, and uh, and I've been putting on my own records all, all along the way, and I think that's where they might be finding the songs, is in my own recordings. Mm -hmm. You're getting ready for a concert at the Kentucky Castle, part of the Troubadour Concert Series, and you have been part of this before. And what does it mean to be part of that as a Kentucky native? Well, the first part is for years we all drove around, you know, that side of uh, Lexington, seeing that castle, wondering like, when would we ever get to get up there and look at it? Uh, and and because it's always been a thing to see, right? We can't miss it for all these decades. And then uh, they started opening it up for uh, shows, uh, you know, especially up on the roof. Uh, the, the, I think the other two that I did were up on the roof. Uh, I think this time we're doing something out in a tent or an open uh, or a covered spot out in, in, the, in the lawn or something. But um, it's just a beautiful place to be. And again, if you remember uh, passing it like I did for years and years, Never, you know, what is that up there? And so now it's open to the public, uh, you know, for these shows. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful place. Uh, and, uh, you know, Kentuckians like their music. And uh, so it's a, it's a pretty good fit for me. Mm -hmm. Give us a little bit of a preview of what people are going to be able to enjoy at your concert. Yeah, well, I've written a lot of songs. Um, and uh, so I bring, you know, songs that I've written, like I wrote a song called You'll Never Leave Harlan Alive that Kentucky folks might uh, know about. Um, and I'll be doing that for certain. Uh, I never have a set list, so I kind of make it up on the spot. But roughly I'm bringing two or three instruments. I, I might even bring this banjo. Uh, but usually it's guitar-centric stuff. Um, and... Um, electric guitar, um, I'll probably drag a mandolin along. So, uh, and then we just get there and figure it out right in front of the people. Folks have requests, so we like to do that. Um, and it's it's really a bunch of songs. I'll do covers of uh, Hank Williams, maybe Johnny Cash, here and there. Uh, and it's uh, a lot of playing, a lot of singing, and uh, a lot of original songs from a Kentucky native. That's great. And you're going to perform for us today. So tell us about the inspiration behind It's a Great Day to Be Alive, and then we would love to hear it. Yeah. So the inspiration came from uh, me hurting my back. Uh, one time, it was the Friday after Thanksgiving, pulling brush to a bonfire. Uh, by Monday after Thanksgiving, I couldn't move. And so I basically had back trouble for that entire week, uh, canceled all my work and everything. And then about six days later, I could sit up, and then I started heating some uh, rice in the microwave, which is the first line of this song, and then I just went from there and really started describing. I really didn't describe the back pain. I really described how good it felt to, well, actually, to sit up, because I hadn't been able to do that for about six days. And then it's so... it. Uh, it became kind of just like a, a, a big release of, of just not being in pain any longer. And it turned into, uh, it's a great day to be alive.
Daryl Scott performing It's a Great Day to Be Alive. Take it away. I got rice cooking in the microwave. Got a three-day beard. I don't plan to shave and it's a goofy thing. But I just gotta say, hey man, I'm doing all right. Yeah, I think I'll make me some homemade soup. I'm feeling pretty good and that's a gospel truth. What's oh, neither drink nor drug induced. No, I'm just doing all right. And it's a great day to be alive. I know the sun's still shining. When I close my eyes, it's a hard times in the neighborhood but why can't every day be just this good it's been 15 years since i left home and said good luck to every seed i'd sown i gave it my best and then i left it alone i hope they're doing all right You see, he says, I see a lone wolf looking at me. Head in the clouds, but harmless as a tree. Good God, I guess he's doing all right. And it's a great day to be alive. I know the sun's still shining. Better close my eyes. It's some hard times in the neighborhood. But why can't every day be just this good? See, sometimes it's the lonely, but sometimes it's only me and the shadows that fill this room. Oh, sometimes I'm falling, desperately calling and howling at the moon. Ah, It's a colorful life that we go through. It's neither black or white, not just shades of blue. Now maybe I grow me a fool, man. Choo. Well, it's a great day to be alive. I know the sun's still shining when I close my eyes. It's some hard times in the neighborhood. But why can't every day be just this good? It's a great day. Sun's still shining. When I close my eyes, it's some hard, hard times in the neighborhood. But why can't every day be just this good? Our thanks to Daryl Scott. The Troubadour Concert Series featuring Daryl Scott begins at 7 tonight at the Kentucky Castle. For tickets, go to Trubo, that's T-R-O-U-B-A-Show.com.